Hi everyone, my name is Adam and I enjoy tabletop gaming and today I'm here to talk to you about Superfight. Uh, Superfight is a fantastic game, very easy to learn, uh, promotes absurd arguments as the game says, uh, and one of the best features is that the entire game fits in this box. You can throw it in your backpack, you can play it anywhere, you can play it with anyone. Uh, it's very simple, very quick to learn, very fun, um, and uh, isn't really very competitive. I uh, totally recommend this game uh, for friends, families, appropriate for all ages. The game also produces uh, some smaller expansions that you can just shuffle right into your main deck. This one is the red deck, rated R. Um, while the game, the base game, is appropriate for all ages, you add these, you're going to get some dicier, uh, racier, rated R things, maybe for your uh, adult friends. But they also have the green box, the rated G expansion, Disney characters, cartoon powers, things that are, su that are super appropriate for a younger audience. They also have some basic expansions, just new white and black cards to get shuffled right back in. And they have a line of uh, themed expansions. This one here is the horror movie expansion. It might include characters like Jason or Freddy Krueger. They also have an anime expansion. The game also has expansions that add scenarios and settings. Maybe that will change the outcome of the battle. Uh, overall, this is all you need. Excellent price point. You can find this for around $30 uh, local gaming store or online. Um, and it's a good purchase, a good gift for anyone. Um, and it is a welcome addition to your tabletop or board game library. How do you play Superfight? It's very simple. Uh, inside the Superfight box, there's going to be white cards and black cards. And um, you... Uh, you give each player five white cards, or five, and five black cards. And the white cards will have on them um, characters, uh, people, and the black cards will be powers or weaknesses. And you, the, you choose two players to go first, head to head. And they take some time and they choose one white card, one character, and one black card, one power or weakness. And they try to craft or assemble the most powerful warrior they can because these two characters are uh, going to fight. All right. I'll put down Nightcrawler, the, the X-Men, not the worm. Not the worm. <laughs> okay. Good thing you specified that. And with Acid Blood. Ooh, so like a xenomorph, an alien nightcrawler. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, very cool. Well, I'm going to do Bruce Lee inside of a gigantic robotic, a draw a random car, uh, character card, Bruce Lee driving robotic Mario Brothers. Interesting. Very interesting. Already really absurd. Now, this is not where the game ends. We have a nightcrawler with acid blood versus Bruce Lee piloting robot, giant robotic Mario Brothers. And we're each going to take a random black card. Boom. Uh, your tongue can stretch and move at will. Yeah. Just like a xenomorph. Just like a xenomorph. <laughs> I'm thinking more Venom oh, yeah, at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, kind of the, the its tongue is its own character. And um, my Bruce Lee is inside a gigantic robotic Mario Brothers, and he's agoraphobic. He's afraid of the uh, open spaces, which I think is fine because he's inside of a gigantic Mario Brothers, so that's really... That makes sense. That's really mitigated. Um, and then we would, uh, as a table, every player would vote on who would win this battle, and the two opponents have to make their case. Mm. Um, I, um, I think that this is actually a good fight, um, I think Nightcrawler could just teleport inside of the gigantic Mario Brothers, hit him with his weird stretchy tongue, and if Bruce Lee injures him while he's in there, Nightcrawler's acid blood is just going to destroy him anyways. True. So I actually give this, I give this fight to Nightcrawler. I, I am voting against my own character in this place. I was going to say Nightcrawler just teleports in, grabs Bruce Lee and teleports him out. And him being agoraphobic, I... He just can't even deal with it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he could just teleport him out and then leave him in the middle of a field. Yeah, yeah, and that'll be that'll be the end of him. Because I wouldn't have, the way Nightcrawler would defeat uh, enemies would be to teleport them ten thousand feet into the air yeah. and then teleport away and just let them fall to their death. Oh, that's, that's another way too. <laughs> but because Bruce Lee is agoraphobic, uh, he wouldn't even need to do that. He would die of an anxiety attack just as soon as he was brought out. So Manny's character here, the Nightcrawler, wins. And so he gets my character card um, as kind of a score. And one way to play is whoever, the first person to win five battles or something like that, wins the game. Mm. Um, and then uh, we go into another round. Nightcrawler with acid blood and the stretchy moving tongue is the standing champion. Uh, so I'll draw back up to five white cards and five black cards. And I'm going to try to craft a new champion that I think can destroy <laughs> Nightcrawler. Um, so I'm going to go with Miley Cyrus armed with a lightsaber. Um, I chose this because Miley Cyrus really is the most capable... <laughs> uh, person that I have in my hand right now. Well, she could she could come in as a cannonball. <laughs> she could come in as the the wrecking ball with her t with her own. I think mean, she has a tongue that that kind of moves at will too, right? Isn't she always sticking her tongue oh, out doing weird true. stuff? Yeah. yeah. Um, um, and I went with the lightsaber because it mitigates the acid blood because the lightsaber cauterizes the wound as it slices through, so there wouldn't be um, any acid blood. This is still a very weak matchup against Nightcrawler because, of course, Nightcrawler can teleport whatever he wants. But that's not the end of the fight. We get a random power or weakness, and that is can take the form of anything water-based. Oh, okay. So she could take the form of a fish. It would be yeah. better if she could turn into water because yeah. then if Nightcrawler tried to grab her, she could turn into water and, and go away. Um, I really still think Nightcrawler wins this one. Um, and so uh, if the table agreed, everyone voted, he would get that that card as a victory. Yeah. So you want to have at least three players. Yeah, it, 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 you can play it with two people. It just becomes kind of a laugh fest and a joke fest. But it becomes a uh, much more of a true game with at least three players. Because that way you have three votes and you won't mm -hmm. get a, a tie breaker. Um, there's a lot of different ways to play this game. We're playing just the standard classic way. Um, you don't need to keep the champion down every time. You don't need to have that one player uh, who, who won... Um, have everyone else face him. Um, and actually, um, some I think that it's a better way to play is to just do two new uh, combatants every time. Because sometimes you get a pretty oppressive combination down there. Yeah. You know, like 50 wizards with lightsabers. Yeah, how, you know, yeah. how who's going to defeat that? Um, so it, you also, it can also just be fun to see, to just take the deck out if you're bored and see what you get randomly. Like here I have a blob. With, that's pregnant. Oh gosh! You know, <laughs> a, a pregnant, pregnant blob that has no bones. I mean, the blob already has no bones. Um, but these, um, these cards also can give you really good ideas for character building. Maybe you play uh, a role-playing game and are having a hard time coming up with new and interesting enemies for your players. And you know, uh, it can be part of that game as as well. MacGyver, uh, wearing cement shoes. You know. And is a tween. Um, where's Miley Cyrus for him? Um, and um, I also, uh, if you uh, are an artist and are looking for challenging things to render or uh, conceptualize, you can just make random characters for yourself. How about, how would it be trying to draw a mosquito that's 100 stories tall and explodes if they stop moving? Um, maybe you want to create a story around this. Um, it is a very fun, very flexible game. Uh, you can take it anywhere, and as you see, it's so easy to learn. It's so very funny um, and appropriate for all ages, um, unless you are adding a rated R or a, a horror-themed deck. Um, but they do even have expansions specifically for the younger kids and expansions that are just what you see here. Yeah. Uh, very fun, straight out of the box. Um, and so many different ways to play.